where Zerg's spy drone disguises itself as an LGM in order to get footage of the Unimines. Once the Unimind has been brought to the surface, Zerg launches an assault on the planet. Meanwhile, the Star Command LGMs have created a robotic space ranger, and they are anxious for Buzz to try out the prototype as his new partner. He of course refuses, but when he goes off to save the LGM homeworld, XR, or the Experimental Ranger, tags along anyway. So Buzz and XR fly in and blow up a bunch of Zerg's robots, and at first it looks like they have the upper hand but then the dynamic changes when Agent Z shows up. They fight for a little while, even doing a weird laser ricochet thing, but in the end, Agent Z wins, blowing up XR and hitting Buzz hard in the chest with his flamethrower. This leaves Zerg open to steal the Unimind unhindered, and they make their escape with it. Buzz retrieves the disintegrated pieces of the fallen XR and brings them back to Star Command. The LGMs attempt to repair the damage, but without the assistance of the Unimind, they find the task to be incredibly difficult. But you don't need me to tell you that. Buzz monologues the whole thing. Even without the Unimind, those little green guys had the right stuff. Then came the wrong stuff. Their selection of auxiliary gear was obviously non-regulation. But perhaps there was a method to their madness. Maybe. Just maybe. No. They had lost it. Well, that's a bit harsh. Anyway, cut to Zerg Tower, where we finally learn what Zerg's plan for the Unimind is. He hopes that by turning the Unimind from good to evil, he will hopefully be able to enslave every free mind in the Galactic Alliance. You know, mind control, evil puppet type scenario. You're telling me my plan. I already know my plan. I made up the plan. It's my plan. What I don't know is how close you are to accomplishing my plan! Ah! Sorry! Please don't kill me! Zerg is annoyed with his minions by their distinct lack of progress, and he decides that it's time to take things into his own hands. If you want something, turn evil. Turn it evil yourself. And so he does! Just like that. If it's that easy, why didn't he just do that before? Back at Star Command, the Rangers are all gathered in the briefing room, and Commander Nebula is outlining a plan for a full-scale attack on the planet Z. But Mira Nova has a counter-suggestion. She believes that they will have a higher probability of success if they use a single one-person spacecraft to slip past the defenses unnoticed. Buzz agrees with her, annoyingly finishing her sentences for her, but Nebula objects. That, of course, is the end of it, and neither of them try to steal the Alpha One. Jermira Nova, you were about to hijack the Alpha One, weren't you? Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing down here? You were about to hijack the Alpha One. Oh, of all the nerve! What? What? <laughs> so Mira steals the Alpha One, and Buzz has to go after her, unknowingly taking Booster and XR along for the ride. Oh, right, I forgot to mention, they stowed away. Whoosh! Look out for the asteroids, XR! Meanwhile, at Zerg Tower, note the big gun on the roof, we finally get that scene that they ripped off in the first Toy Story movie. Did you make sure that the plus end went to the plus part and the minus end went to the minus part? Oh, that would do it, huh? Oh. So with the battery now installed correctly, Zerg is ready to test his new Unimind gun. And Brain in a Jar number 29 suggests that they target Rhizone, the planet of the vegetarians. And this naturally leads to this heartwarming exchange. Uh, how long have you been with my evil organization? Ooh, uh, let's see. I was just being polite! I don't really care, alright? Sure. Now. Unless anyone else wants to tell me his or her life story. Remember, kids, Zerg is an equal opportunity employer. So they fire the gun at Rhizone, and Zerg exposits that he is now in control of every mind on the planet. Having successfully tested the Zergorific ray. Zergatronic, you lackwits! Sorry. Having successfully tested the Zergatronic ray, they are now ready to target Star Command. Cut back to Buzz chasing Mira through space. With his superior rocket power, Buzz easily catches up with Mira, and he grabs onto her ship with an extremely low-tech tractor beam. Yeah, budget cuts are hard on all of us. He's off the 
those thrusters, Barrel, you'll just burn them out. I have an extremely tight grip on you with this suction cup. Buzz reels Mira in, but before he has time to properly reprimand her, they hear voices coming from the cargo bay, and they find the stowaway is trying to escape unnoticed. But Booster and XR are saved further embarrassment by the proximity alarm going off. Red alert! Buzz moves the ship out of the way just in time as Zerg's Zergatronic ray flies past them and hits Star Command. Buzz and the others go to the station to investigate. They soon discover that this was a very bad idea and leave as soon as possible, but the mind-controlled space rangers follow them. Oh, I got a lot of red lights blinking over here! Except for the fact that those are so obviously green. Anyway, the other rangers manage to blow up Buzz's ship, but fortunately they are able to escape by launching the Alpha-1. Um. I even start with this one? First of all, it really doesn't matter that you launched. You were still well within the blast radius, so the explosion would still have destroyed you. Second, the Alpha-1 is not that small. They would have seen you. Look, here's the Alpha-1 in front of the ship, and here it is again on top of a tiny piece of shrapnel. I think this calls for a second. So anyway, Buzz and his companions crash land on the planet Z after Booster accidentally sits on the emergency water landing button, leading to this classic line. That? That's not a spacecraft. It's obviously a weather balloon. Let's leave the brain work to those with the brain, shall we? It's funny because weather balloon! Buzz orders the others to vacate the planet so that he can get a nose ring. Or possibly so that he can take on Zerg by himself, but probably the nose ring. Then who's getting a nose ring? <gasps> That's why Buzz wants to ditch us! So after a little arguing, they leave, so that we can have our classic one-on-one -on -one showdown between the hero and the villain. And Buzz is captured. Wow, maybe he shouldn't have sent away his only backup. Well, to be fair, he was a little distracted by seeing his dead partner. Knowing that he is only moments away from death, Buzz does what he always does in such situations. Files a report. Buzz Lightyear Mission Log Final Entry. What's he doing? <sighs> mission Log. He's a procedure nut. No, actually he's sending a transmission to the Alpha-1, and Mira and the others immediately come to his rescue. They quickly take out Agent Z and some of the cannon fodder. Aren't you the janitor? Yep! Oh, this is gonna be great for my rep. Wait, who's the procedure nut again? So they have a standoff with Zerg, but he ultimately gets away so that there will be a villain to fight in the spin-off TV series. So with Zerg temporarily out of the way, Buzz and Mira attend to the more pressing matter of the corrupted Unimind. Mira uses her ghosting power on Buzz and pushes him through the Unimind surface and to its core. This immediately turns the Unimind good again, and starts a chain reaction that reverses the mind control on everyone previously affected by it. And so, having saved the day, they all return home, where there are no lasting consequences from the Unimind incident whatsoever. Could they always fly? And so the movie ends with Buzz's new partner ceremony, wherein he gets not one, not two, but three new partners. That's right, the guy who didn't even want one new partner now has three. So that was the Buzz Lightyear movie. How was it? Well, this movie certainly isn't for everyone, and I would understand if this just is not the movie for you, but this is actually one of my favorite movies. I don't know if it's just the nostalgia colored glasses talking, but everything about it just seems perfect to me. The story, the characters, and the animation, everything's just perfect. So if you like crazy over the top space opera type adventures, then this might be a good movie for you. Till next time, here's your kid friendly clip of the day. Get out of here! No! Go! We're partners! I said go! One.
faster than the speed of light. We will carry the fight to infinity and beyond. Good guys, we can fight far across the starry sky. Past the moon and past the sun, with no good deed left undone. There is a place, is a place in, outer space, in outer space where you can join in the fun. To infinity and beyond. Are you sure this is a good idea? Not at all. But right now, he's the only chance we've got.